Welcome to another episode. Oh my gosh, we are so excited. We're decorating for a creative weirdo today. Huge thanks to Bear for sponsoring today's episode. We're featuring their 2020 color trends, which means this is gonna be a fun project because we're gonna use a lot of color. We're gonna use a lot of color in a space that also needs to be kind of neutral. So it's like, it's a challenge but I'm so excited, the colors are gorgeous. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. We have so many great videos coming. You guys saw we were doing Jeffree Star, we're doing Brand Fam, we're doing some of the Vlog Squad. We got a bunch of things coming. Oh my gosh, yeah, we are working hard. 2020 is our golden year. Moon sleeping on Grammy, so we only got a little bit of time, so let's go! Okay, yeah! Are we going? No, we're, we gotta go to the vlog footage where oh, we're yeah, driving okay, to yeah, right. we got this creative yep. weirdo, Ellis. Cut to that. Cut to that. All right, so Joey just got back from the doctor and picked Moon and I up. I got my smiley faces on. Did it hurt? No. Are you afraid of needles? I'm not afraid of needles. Anyways, so yeah, so Joey is dealing with his arthritis stuff and it's something that's really important to him and obviously to our family. Well, part of, part of 2020 for us is gonna be focusing on our health because we eat, sleep, and breathe Moon Second, we easily been breathe our business, our channel. And it was always like third or fourth or fifth on the list was like taking care of ourselves. So 2020, number one priority is we're gonna get our health right. I'm gonna try to figure out my migraines even though I'm breastfeeding and so many of the things I can't take because I mean, of my migraines. maybe the solution. Or because of my breastfeeding. It's just that we're gonna have to move to a remote tropical island. What we're about to do now is a scout. We call them, I think I have kale in my teeth. Yes, I do, but I can't get it out. We are on our way to scout a house. We basically go and like check out the house and then like kind of see what we think would be cool to do for it based off of what they need and all that. Hi, Kate, Joey, and Moon. My name is Ellis. This is Lucy. <laughs> And my husband Johnny and I, we all just moved into our first home. So things are a little bit in shambles as you kind of see behind me. I work part time from home and then, cause I stay home with her 24 seven. And then my husband is a engineer and also does schooling part time to get his master's degree. So this is our living room. It's attached to our dining room and has all these big open windows. I just, I love your work. I watch all your YouTube videos. I'm totally a creative weirdo at the whole nine yards. So would love to meet you all. Would love for Moon and Lucy to meet. I think they would have a great time. Again, I would love to be considered. Thank you. Knock, knock. <laughs> Hi. Ellis and Lucy. Yeah, come on in you guys. Hello. Oh, Hi, I'm Joey. Nice. Nice to meet you. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh my you guys actually look kind of alike. I guess all babies look kind of alike. Let's look at your space. Oh. You guys just bought this house. Yeah, like three weeks ago. Three weeks yeah. ago? Well, right before Christmas we moved in, so it's been a little crazy. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Here. So what is this furniture that you currently have? So we just moved from an apartment, and this is like old furniture. Like we got this from our brother. So, but so this is like your main living. Yes, area. this is like where we'll spend most of our time. Yeah. And one of the bedrooms is going to be like a nursery. Yeah. So she's got her room, gotcha. and then we have our room, and then the third room is going to be like an office slash guest room. Gotcha. Like so this doesn't need to be toy central out here. No, no, no. So tell me about your family. You're from here. My husband is the youngest of three brothers, and so. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> But my husband has grown up in Hawthorne, which is where we're at right now, so this is home for him. And then he's got two older brothers who have wives who are like my best friends, and they have kids that are literally like weeks apart. From Aww, Lucy. So it's like awesome. we're together all the time. His parents live like a mile away, so we're all really close by and spend a lot of time together. And a lot of entertaining happening. Yeah, and we obviously don't switch off, but people are coming over, we're hanging out pretty yeah. frequently. Do you guys have like a combined style? He defaults to things that I like, but there are certain things where it's like, he's really adamant about keeping the brick. So it's like, that's something that's important to him. But it's like, besides that, he doesn't really have a, like a style. And what would you consider your style? I would say something more on like minimalist 
cozy somewhere in there. Okay. I like neutrals, but like soft and cozy. If that makes soft sense. and cozy neutrals. Yeah. yeah. Do you watch TV in this room? Oh. Yes, we do have a TV. It's just we don't just sit. So it's in our bedroom right now. Got so yeah. you want it to be in here? I, I think so because this is where we'll relax. You've managed to purchase this rug. rug. Yeah, which can go into another room if you need to. No, it's very okay. pretty. Yeah. I mean, this rug's actually kind of colorful. It is. It's hard to deny how much this is part of this space. Like, it's hard for me to think about doing this room without doing this. Right. Well, so you said you said this? that this is all hand-me-down stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. And let's talk and obviously about this. This is, yeah. Yeah. this is some very no, old oh, yeah, wire. So. <laughs> so this you're not precious about. No, you basically in this room. Um, we don't have a emotional attachment to it. Okay, so neutrals. But are you open to like some color? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I don't think we have any huge colors. animosity to anything specific. What do you want to do in here, Lucy? <laughs> Should we work on your house? <laughs> Alright, so normally this is when we would take off and get back in the car, but now we're gonna play! Playtime! A baby rock Yeah! <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her. My, my socks are clean. I put them on right before we left and I put my shoes on right away. See if your dad's done taping in here. <gasps> Hello! <gasps> Hi guys! Hi guys! Can we brought Grammy. Grammy's Armed. here with her creative weirdos. Toy her toy. creative weirdos toy bag. You, you wanna go hang out in, in Lucy's room? You wanna go hang out with, in Lucy's room and play with Lucy's toys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start painting. Love you. Thank you, Grammy. No, not you, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, okay. All right, so we're back, obviously, in Ellison's, Johnny's, and Lucy's house. This is gonna be a fun project. Yes, so as you guys know, this episode is sponsored by Bear, and we are going to be using some, actually we're gonna be pretty much using all of the 2020 colors of the year. This, so, is, this is a cool project because she's not super friendly with color, right? Yeah, we're saying Alice because Alice is pretty much dictating like the style in here because Johnny's like, cool, whatever you want, which is awesome. Yeah. But yeah, she likes kind of like safer, I would say, rooms in the sense that it's just like a lot of neutral stuff. But I think in this space, because there isn't a lot of like architectural interest, yeah. We want to bring that in. I mean, the, the the color trends are also just, it's a fun palette I know, you can of. see these colors here. It's like a really fun range and very like nature inspired. So in that sense, we're not going like crazy colorful in here. We're kind of taking Ellis by the hand and introducing her to colors throughout the space and using them to really highlight the design. So accent wall in the dining room, Painting the mantle will be huge because there's that really cool brick that they love. But the fact that the mantle surround is the same color as the walls right now, it just kind of falls away. Yeah. So I think painting that like a really fun pop of color and I'm thinking this dragonfly here. Oh cool. Which is such a pretty, almost like a smoky kind of teal what color. What is the base color gonna be? The base color, we're gonna go creamy mushroom. Ooh. And the reason so wait, we're so doing that- So this is gonna be pretty colorful. Well, creamy mushroom is like a neutral. Like that's a neutral on the majority of the walls. And then I want to do cider spice on that back wall. So you walk in, you see this beautiful, warm, anchoring color. And you know what's really nice about the cider spice? It kind of has the warmth of the brick. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have the brick going on in here, and then boom. So then, and then the other thing that we're gonna do that's gonna be really cool is this mm -hmm. crown molding. So it's like, wait, you guys, we've never done crown molding in a room before, which is crazy. I mean, obviously we've done rooms that have crown molding, but we've never actually put it in. This is a great candidate too, because it really is, in its raw state, kind of boring architecture. Yeah, it's just all very like straight, flat. So, so yeah, so we'll just wrap the whole room in this. 
Yeah, and what's gonna be really nice is the creamy mushroom is this beautiful, you know, warm, neutral color that then against the crown molding painted white will be a really pretty contrast. Cause we don't want to put up the crown molding and then just paint everything white. Cause then you won't see the crown molding and we really do want to hero this like architectural element that we're adding in here. So TV above the mantle. TV above the mantle, we're bringing in an L-shaped sofa, which I like because it will create kind of like an entryway here. Accent chair for the corner. New dining set going over there. And then artwork in here, we've got this big giant wall. So I wanna do an epic gallery wall over here incorporating more of the 2020 color trends because there's just so many beautiful colors and it'll be a nice way to like contain them in white frames, but have some celebration of color going on. Of course, all inspired by the rug that Ellis picked out, so. Okay, well we don't have a lot of time. Let's paint. Okay. <laughs> All right guys, so today we're using um, Bear Premium Plus Ultra. Obviously we paint a ton. We know our paint, I'd like to say. This is a really good paint. This is a paint and primer in one, which just gives you really good coverage. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's worth it to get a paint primer in one because it cuts down your painting time so much. I just spent some time earlier this morning going through and anywhere that I saw, you know, chips, or any cracks that need to be spackled. I just went ahead and did that prep work. But in general, you don't have to do a lot of prep with this paint because this thing is really, really durable and covers really well. It's also low VOC, which obviously we're always aware of with a kid. This is the ticket. It's got that green guard seal right there, green guard gold. It's something to look for when you're buying paint. Ooh. Um, so. Okay, so let's open up these colors. Who's painting what? Let me do the accent wall in the cider. The cider spice is going over here, and then you want to do the creamy mushroom on the rest of the paint. I bet I can get it all done before you get this one accent wall done. Joey, it's not a competition. It should be. You want to make it a competition? No, I don't want to make it a competition. Everything is a competition. Let's just make it a competition. I'll do this. You'll paint this entire rest of the, the place before I finish this one wall. You doubt me? that much. So this is the creamy mushroom. So they have this sort of just like off white going on here on the walls. And then the trim color is also sort of like an off white. We want to change that up. We want to do this creamy mushroom. So pretty. And then we're going to paint out all the trim and the crown molding a nice pure white. Don't paint too much. I don't want to leg up on my wall. I want this to be a fair competition. Okay, okay, well, like, let me, let me swatch over here then, the equal amount. Uh, Ooh! Yeah, this is a really appetizing color. I mean, not only is cider spice making me want some cider, yeah. <laughs> but I think that's also something that's important to think about in a dining room. You're gonna be eating around the color. You want it to be appetizing, so warm, colors are a great idea for a dining room. Cooler colors look great in a living room. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oi, yay, yay. Fine. Yes. Challenge accepted. Use a bigger brush. You're going to get so sweaty. I already know it. You can finish this because I need to go do the gallery wall. Win by forfeit? Forfeit? You're forfeiting? Sure. <laughs> Joey, hey. I don't like competition. Yes, I'm forfeiting. And I'm totally fine with it and I'm very well adjusted and I'm gonna go make a gallery wall.
out for this gallery wall experience, guys. We are going to be doing an epic gallery wall in there and inspired by the bare colors of the year for 2020. There's so many gorgeous ones. I thought it would be really fun to create a gallery wall for behind the sofa. So basically what I've already done is I've pre-painted some of the backgrounds of these pieces that I'm going to then add art on the top of it. But I just thought painting the background was a good start to bringing in the color. So as opposed to creating art on white pieces of paper, we're creating art over some of the colors. Oh, okay. Mom, you want you want Grammy come hold you and you can watch me paint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grammy's here. You want to watch me paint? Moon's grandma is his babysitter. He's so lucky. Stay close. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> I know. I have to paint. <laughs> I have to paint a gallery wall. Okay, so let's do this light drizzle. This is like a beautiful, serene blue, really calming. And I want this to go as the background for our biggest piece of artwork. I did this sketch here as a reference for myself, just so I knew what I was painting. But really important when you're doing a ton of frames on a big wall, that wall is the most expansive wall in the room. So I wanna make sure that we have a nice style moment going on there. So the gallery wall will be perfect. We also have some photos of the family. So Alice just started a photography company with her friend and she just did a photo shoot with her and Lucy and Jonathan and they're such cute photos. I'll show you guys, There's, I'll just show you one of them. I have them here, they're so cute. Let me just show you this one. Look how sweet. This is like the pink color that's in there. We've got the beautiful blue. These are gonna be so beautiful sprinkled amongst the other artwork. And you guys know my rule for gallery walls is not too many photos because if you do too many photos, there's just too many faces staring at you and it distracts from each other. So let's get some artwork going. Day one is done, we did painting, we did the gallery wall. I'm so excited about it all. It's drying. I'm whispering because the moon is napping. And we are headed home to get some dinner, some rest, and Johnny, Ellis, and Lucy are staying at some family, so they won't be seeing any sneak peeks, thankfully, because we have more to do tomorrow. See you then. guys all right so setting up my little confessional cam here in between days working on Alice's the Sun is going down I've got a couple hours to get some work done before I'm gonna put moon to bed I am working on finalizing the mood board and the budget for Jeffree Star about to send him all the stuff picking out some items I'm gonna shop but of course most of it is a surprise it's sort of like making sure he knows the vibe we're going for, but not like exactly what we're doing. You guys helped a lot in the comments, kind of give some fun ideas and all that, so thank you. I'm gonna submit the budget to him. Do you guys wanna know what the budget is? No, I'm not gonna tell you, that's personal. If Jeffrey wants you to know the budget, you can ask Jeffrey. So we've got a lot of stuff going on with Jeffrey's and our hope is that we can get everything delivered in time and all of those custom things that we're getting made, done, to shoot it early March. Stay tuned for that, guys, but of course, be patient, because interior design, especially when it's this big of a project and this custom, takes a little bit. So, hold your horses, hold your Pomeranian statues, it's gonna be cool. And then we also have Jason Nash and 
Aaron and Carly, Carly and Aaron, that we've added from the vlog squad. So just keeping you guys in the know, because I know you're so excited to see all those videos, and we are so excited to do those projects, but there's just a lot of stuff we have to like, hoops we have to jump through in order to get to the point where we're actually installing it. So be patient. It'll be worth it. All right, back to work. Then put my baby to sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! We are here, Moon is sleeping with my mom. She's on hand to help, yay Grammy. I am going to be working on finishing up some artwork, styling in the space. Joey's working on crown molding, hanging the TV, other stuff, lots to do, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Here. Right here? Here. Joey! No! The spider is not part of it. Be careful. I'm trying to save him. Only good vibes. Don't kill it. Do you know that daddy also, long legs, I don't know if this is actually true, but... Are really poisonous. They're super poisonous. They just can't break you. They have skin. tiny mouths. Is that true? <laughs> That's my daddy long leg impersonation. Joey, is it on you? Yeah. Oh! Ooh, shut up. Is it biting me? I don't know. Is it really it poisonous? Wants to. I don't think that, I don't know if that's true. I feel like that's like a wives' tale. Well, let's not find out. I like that a husband is testing a wives' tale. Go, goodbye. Joey, please, it probably jumps. It's my friend. Where'd it go? Oh, it's hanging. It's playing dead. Oh my God, it's playing dead. No, it's not. Yeah. It's... Okay, well, can you take it? No, you're the one that grabbed it. All right, I'm taking him outside. Good, bye Charlotte. All right, where was I? Oh, I fell off. <laughs> it's definitely in your ear, making home in your brain. That's a wives' tale. <sighs> okay, what do we think? Ta-da! That looks really good. I mean, how essential was this creamy mushroom? Because it like just so highlights the crown molding and then like the white frame stand off of it. We have all the rest of our colors from the color trends going on here. And look at how cute the family is. Look at them up here. And we used the one thing they had. The one thing they had, which actually worked so perfectly with the color palette. Like, look. Let's take advantage of Moonbeam with Grandma. And what? And hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arguing like this. Um. We love you. Good job. Good job, Joey. Ew. Daddy long legs. <laughs> you don't know where it is, right? Okay. You're a daddy long legs with a daddy long legs yeah, somewhere he's, on Yeah, he's you. part of our family now. Okay, well, I'm a mom of short legs. I don't want, I don't want that on me. Okay, let's okay. get the rest of the sectional in. Okay. Okay, this is our. So that. So this is an L, but this side is longer with this piece into it. Yeah, so that has to hook on the Or wait, that's not true. What? It's even. There, now it's in okay. okay. Push it. Yeah. Woohoo! Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, my feet don't reach the floor. Yeah, what's the sign? Near? Sign of a good couch. <laughs> <laughs>
have functionality of a dining room, a living room. Oh my gosh, and you guys, we have some beautiful color in here. What do you think? It looks so good. talk about what we did in here. We did so much in here. Remember, it was just a white L of a room with a mantle that blended into the wall, and we were challenged to use the color trends, and boy, did we accept that challenge. It still feels like a neutral space in here because we used this creamy mushroom, but then we anchored it with this beautiful cider spice color here in the dining room. It adds a richness. But it's not like a really, you know, bright orange or anything, right? It has an earthy feel to it, which is a neutral, right? These colors are inspired by nature, and nature is colorful, but like neutral because it's natural. I don't know. I'm, I've decided that nature is a neutral. <laughs> and then our other colorful moment is, of course, on the mantle. We used that dragonfly color, which we used a semi-gloss finish. And against the matte brick, it's just so gorgeous. We're sort of playing with opposite colors there to really highlight both of them. I'm so thrilled with how that looks. The coverage that the Bare Premium Plus paint gave us on that mantle just looks really rich. It just elevated that mantle, which was before just kind of fell away when it was white on white. We added the crown molding, such an awesome architectural detail. Like it feels just more like a finished, beautifully designed room in here. It just adds another little level to the space instead of it just being wall meets ceiling. I'm really, really happy that we took the extra time to do that. And of course, it really highlights the contrast of the trim around the windows against the creamy mushroom going bright white with the trim and a nice, beautiful, creamy color on the walls. All right, so let's talk about the living room. All they had in there was the rug, and that was the jumping off point that allowed me to see into Ellis's brain and go, I see you, you're okay with color, and it works perfectly now with our sectional sofa. I love an L-shaped sofa if you can make it work because it gives you almost like a half wall. So we created a moment of a half wall to make the front door feel like it has more of an entryway with the bookshelf being the little entry table. It's nice and low, there's storage baskets in there. They can put more of Lucy's toys in there. We finished off the functionality of the living room with a coffee table and an accent chair in the corner creating a conversation space, which is gonna work really well for them having all of their family members over. And it's just gonna be really fun to now watch TV in that room as well. The gallery wall turned out so cool. Obviously, that's where we celebrated the rest of the bear color trends for 2020. We've got all of the beautiful oranges and yellows and pinks and everything playing in over there, which really complemented their family photo shoot. Like, that was just such a happy moment that they all dressed in the color trends, kind of, so thank you. Didn't plan that. And then of course, we've got some throw pillows bringing in our color palette accessories, toys in toy baskets, yay. Moving into the dining room, a round table. You guys know I love to do that in a smaller space. It's easier to move around than a square table. You're not hitting it with your hips if you're clumsy, like me. And we changed out that light fixture. We needed to modernize the space with this beautiful chandelier. So love how this looks. We also added a ceiling medallion here for this light fixture, which just gives it that much more of an established look and really ties in the crown molding that we added. We also gave them a dimmer switch for this, which is awesome because it's nice and bright when it's on, but they can lower it for moodiness. We've got four chairs here. We've got this little console table over here for additional space for buffet, whatever, coffee maker, etc. 
This painting I did with some more of the color trends, which is a really quick, beautiful combo of the dragonfly and the rumba orange. And yeah, curtains. We needed some curtains to just highlight the windows, bring in a textile on the walls. They've got blinds for functionality. These are just a really pretty light filtering sheer. And we've got a jute rug underfoot here, a nice round jute rug, bringing in a little bit more of that earthy texture, neutral gray chairs to nicely offset the dark table. That's it, guys. I think I've covered everything. Plants and all the other things, of course, just liven up the space, bring in more of the nature. Eucalyptus. Ha! Huh. I think we're done. I think we're ready to get everyone for the reveal. Ooh, my favorite part. Slash, I get nervous. I hope they like it. We just got here. We are so shaky, excited. excited. Anxious, excited. nervous. All yeah. of the above. We've been like eager all morning, just like, okay, what time is it? Are we there? Can we get in the car? Can we go? Can we go? So we're. Like, we just want to go. We want to go inside and we look at it right see now. what's there. <laughs> okay, eyes yeah, are yeah. closed, eyes are closed. There's a large Step up. Keep your eyes closed. We're going to put you in eyes place. Okay. Oh All right, Ellis, you come so here. All right, and so stand right here. Johnny there. Johnny, Ellis, Lucy. <gasps> yes. yes. New homeowners. Yes. <laughs> Huge achievement. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys yeah. had just a blank space before. Yep. Uh, oh, with a rug. With yep. a rug. <laughs> and a, and a hand-me-down dining table. Yes. Right. Yep. We were really inspired by your photos. Oh, thank your, you. Congrats on your new business. Thank you. Thank the photos are so beautiful. Thank you. And yeah, we just wanted to create a homey, bright, happy space for your family and also your extended family to come over yeah. all the time and yeah, enjoy. We'll all right. So on the count of three. Okay. You can see yep. your new living dining room. Yay. Awesome. All right. Ready? Oh my gosh. Yeah. One, One two, two, three. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's sit down on your new section, yes, shall we? That's so cozy. So what yeah, we wanted to do. Uh, yeah, we wanted to do a sectional because it created a partial wall yeah, there, yeah. in a sense, for the entryway. Because right. that's kind of like a no man's land over there. Yeah. It's really hard to decorate when the room's laid out like that. Because mm -hmm. you didn't have like a long enough wall to do like an entry thing over there. Because you have all these awesome windows. windows. Yeah, so great. it gives you the ability to have this. Uh, table back here. Yeah, so there's storage. There's more storage oh, baskets yeah. down there yeah. for for her toys, because of course toys are very important. This is so cool. I made sure to get coffee table and side tables that are nicely anchored, it. so it's not a you know top heavy situation. But they're still easy enough to slide away if you know Lucy wants to yeah. throw it on right. the carpet. Obviously, we celebrated this really cool brick fireplace, right. which we um, know you guys love. Before everything was just white on white on white. Mm -hmm. And it was also a, kind of just a box. We had no architecture in here, right? So we did crown molding all around. Wow. Saw that. Did you? Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Did Johnny taking it in. I, I saw it. that. I'm like, was that there before? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. But it goes really colors. cool with the with so the, the creamy wow. mushroom, which is what this paint is. Yeah, it, it highlights the architectural element that we added with, which is the crown molding, which wow. we we've actually never added crown yeah. molding in a room before well, you guys are it looks like you've done it a million that. times it looks <laughs> so good cool. obviously you had that like crazy old light that crazy looked like a fire old. hazard <laughs> yeah. probably the, was. the wires yeah. were coming apart yep. and we gave you this new really cool chandelier yeah, it's just so amazing. added more architectural interest with the wow. ceiling medallion right. so that lamp is hooked into the outlet that turns on with that switch so okay. you walk in the door oh, awesome. boom, light right there put your keys down great. on that entry we also play. installed a dimmer on this light so you you can have oh, varying levels cool. of brightness. Awesome. This room needed to be functional, as we know, having a baby. It's like you want it to be functional for grown ups and for babies. So you still got the play area here. Move this table to the side. Yeah. She can learn to climb up on this cozy couch. Yeah, yeah you can climb up on a cozy couch. <laughs> I saw you crawling before. Oh, You're yes. a really good crawler, pro, <laughs> pro crawler. 
But yeah, we had so much fun holding this space together this for awesome. you guys. Thank you, this thank is you for letting us beyond what I could even imagine. Oh, good. Seriously, so this is so awesome. It's amazing. I'm like still shaking. I cannot believe that this is our home. One of the nice details that I liked was the crown molding. I feel like that just differentiates the ceiling from the wall color. It's great. I am looking forward to being able to relax in that space before I just was one big open room. I'm really eager to have family over. Like we're already like, can we invite our brother and sisters over tomorrow? And yeah. excited to just let this be our home and live there and just, let, yeah, enjoy the space. Thank you so much, Mr. Kate. This is beyond what we could ever imagine. And it's, it's an amazing space. Thank you so much. Thank you. You little, <gasps> hi baby. Oh. Look who's here. Can you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be doing a lot of this with the babies on our laps sitting yeah. on the couch. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's so good. And someone else can be over there. Well, guys, congratulations Thank on you. your first home. Thank, Thank you. you. I remember when we got our first home. Uh, we still are in our first home. It's not like I'm like many. <laughs> I remember when we moved into our house, you which was our first, our first home, home and how, how sort of this morning. How just exciting <laughs> it is. Yeah. And to have it be like livable. Uh, makes it even more exciting because yeah. it's just cozy. You come home and like, hopefully we took one thing off of your punch list that you have to get done. Yes. Many things. Yeah. <laughs> Many I things know, off the list. Having a baby, we know it's so hard to get stuff done. Like showering is an accomplishment. Yeah. Like bedtime, <laughs> like 7 p.m. from that point, like that's when you get stuff done. So it's like 1 a.m. Like you're still working. Yeah, I know. Like, you gotta take care of yourself yeah, though. Yeah. You want to grab my hair? <laughs> my hair looks like it tastes like strawberry, but I'm telling you it doesn't. All right, well, normally this is where we say, um, all right, we're going to leave you guys, but I think they're probably just going to play a little bit together. So <laughs> we're going to leave you guys. Dump over that toy basket and play yes. with some things. Let's get playing. <laughs> That was a really fun it was project. A, it was a colorful success, and it was really fun. Yeah. She was crying. He I was, know. He was, he was very happy about the project. Yeah, I know they were nervous about seeing the room, so I think it paid off. They like it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, huge thanks to Bear for sponsoring today's episode. Yeah. Check them out, bear.com. You can check out the color trends on their website, or you can head into Home Depot and pick up some of those color trends because they look awesome. I know, trendy. I know. Get trendy, guys. Make sure and subscribe. Turn on that notification. Bing! Follow us on social media. See you there. And we'll see you in the next episode. <gasps> stay green and stay weird. Stay you because I'm not. Love you. Bye! Bye! Where's the Mooney? <laughs>